When I applied to MIT, they asked me how I was going to use what I learned to change the world. At the time, I didn't have an answer. It's no wonder they didn't let me in. It's been eight years, eight months, and 12 days since that interview, and I finally found my calling. So, all right, we want to give people that same rush, but without the whole lose your house downside of normie gambling. And you've already clicked on the video, baby. You know where this is going. We're redoing Twitch predictions. I mean, seriously, what's more fun than gambling your imaginary internet points on a 3-9 comeback in the grand finals of VCT just to finally hit that upside and get that surge of adrenaline? Now, if you missed the last video, the reason that we're doing this in Discord is because Jeff Bezos doesn't really want to give away his money. I mean, he's only got like, what, 150 billion, 200 billion? Elon Musk passed him, so now he's feeling embarrassed. And as a result, he only gives creators a 50-50 split on Twitch for subscription donations. But you know what Discord does? Discord gives 90-10. And I don't know about you, I'm no mathematician, but that sounds like more money in our pockets. We're going to create a stream chat channel in our Discord and read that while streaming instead of Twitch chat. Then we'll encourage people to join our Discord instead by putting all the fun Twitch features on Discord and improving them. All right, so we know what we're building and I don't know about you, but I'm ready. So let's build this thing, shall we? All right, so the first thing that you need to know about Twitch predictions is that we need to pit two options against one another. Sort of like how my parents tried to pit me against one another in the divorce, but not quite the same. We want people to put their fake internet points on the line so that they're more invested in staying on the stream so that they can ride the high of stealing from others. So let's just make a quick Discord command so that mods can make new predictions, run a couple tests no one cares about, and voila. As we can see here in our database, whatever, you don't care about that. It's working. Now we need to make a separate command for the plebs so that they can actually place their bets. And bingo, bango, bongo, we are off to the races. We can make predictions. We can actually place bets. Now all we've got to do is pay that sucker out. Oh wait, shit. At some point, we kind of got to stop letting people place bets, right? Otherwise, some cheater is going to actually sneak in a bet at the very last second. We don't really want that, do we? All right, so we just got to write this little field to the database to indicate whether or not we're currently accepting entries into the prediction. Fuck, I keep forgetting. Y'all don't care about the database, do you? Whatever, man. We're just checking to see if the prediction is open, and if not, we reject your bet. That simple. Two more quick commands, one to actually pay out the prediction to one of the two options, and one to refund in case like a meteor hits our house midstream and we can't continue. And boom, we're done. Working Twitch predictions, it's just that easy. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. You know what? That one's on me. That one's on me. Y'all aren't reading the commands, and I'm not really reading the commands. I mean, what the fuck is this? I've never seen this shit in my life. I've never seen anyone use this. I have no idea what this is. Why would you just scroll through all the commands? None of you are going to know what this thing is. All right, looks like it's time to add some big ass buttons. Lucky for us, Discord gives us access to these views that we can make. I actually used one earlier to make the prediction, but I didn't tell you about it because I'm sneaky like that. So let's throw a few of those in here. We'll just tell Discord that when we click this button, we want to bet on choice one. And when we click this button, we want to bet on choice two. Simple. Wait, 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 no, 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 oh, fuck. Can you please stop betting for a second? I need to know what people are talking about. Fine, whatever, you're going in jail, okay? You are going into jail. We're just gonna make a separate Discord channel right here. We're gonna start the predictions in here, and boom, done. You're isolated. That's it. Place your bets there. <sighs> nice. Calm. Now, we just go back here, we close the prediction, and, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I clicked choice two. I was supposed to click choice one. What do I do? Choice two didn't win. Choice one won. 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 All right, so whatever. Mods are human too. We make mistakes just like all of you that are giving 50% of your money to Jeff Bezos by subscribing on Twitch instead of Discord. The problem is that right now, if we have already closed the prediction, we have no idea who bet what on what, and we don't even know which way we paid out the fucking prediction. Oh my fucking God. All right, whatever. You know what? We can fix this. We can fix this. All we have to do is write down the ID of the last prediction that we ran. And we just have to write that in the... <clears throat> we, ju we just have to write that in the... We're going to write that in the data. All right, so now we've just got to grab all the prediction entries from that prediction. We've got to recalculate how much money that we paid out to everyone, and we've got to take away their points because they weren't supposed to have any points back to begin with. And we've got to do that depending on how we actually paid out incorrectly the last time. There's only three possible options there. We paid out one, we paid out two, and we refunded. So we can do that quick math, and then we can pay out everything as if nothing ever happened, and I never made any mistakes because I'm a perfect moderator. Boom, baby, we unfucked it, and I'm pretty jazzed about it. Now it's time to sit back and really enjoy this empire that we created. I'll just spin up a new prediction right now. 
God, we're really running that like a lot, aren't we? Like a lot, a lot. No, no, fuck it. We're resting on our laurels, okay? We decided we were gonna rest on our laurels. Rest on our laurels. This is all the Twitch lets you do anyway. We don't need to do anything else. Okay, like imagine if I could just lean over my stream deck, press one little button with this fat little thumb here, and then boom, a new prediction spins up in the Discord. I mean, Twitch can't even do that. We would be the absolute goats, the greatest overzealous adversary of Twitch. But how the hell are we supposed to be able to get our stream deck to talk to our bot? REST API stands for representational state transfer. Right, so here we're just gonna spin up this little server alongside the bot that's gonna listen for web requests where we say, hey, can you please make this little prediction for us? And then we use our exact same code from before to spin up a new prediction. We hop over here to our stream deck and... God, someone did it for us. I did not want to have to do that shit. Now we drag this over here, tell it what prediction we want to open, and boom, magic, baby. Now while we're here, let's just do the same thing for closing a prediction and paying it out. And success, we're the best in the game. The single click, we, and only we. What was that? Wait, but we didn't, I didn't hit my stream deck by accident, did I? All right, so obviously we want to be the only people that can call this thing, right? So all we have to do is generate a really long password, only tell it to ourselves, and make sure that we include this password with every request that we make. As long as we do that, we can make sure that randos aren't starting predictions for us. I mean, they can call the API, but nothing's going to happen, so we don't really care about that. Now that we've provided so much better of a user experience than Twitch could ever imagine, let's see what our lovely users have to say about it. All right, I don't know what the fuck that guy thinks that we're gonna do about that, but these people, God damn it! why can't you guys just read the fucking channel? Please don't make me do it, please, please, please. I hate building front ends. All right, so we've got a nice little Angular repo here. Now we just need a way to render the current prediction onto the page. This info seems pretty important. All right, so we know what people are betting on, how many points are bet on each, what the options are for the bets. Now we just gotta... Looks good to me. Two hours later. All right, whatever, that's like... 10% better. Now the real question is, how are we gonna get that info over here to the front end? So we already spun up this server over here. This would be a great spot for us to set up some server sent event streams. Uh, think of an event stream as like one of those newsletters that you definitely always mean to sign up for when you check out on a sketchy website and suddenly your email inbox is flooded with info that you really care about. Your front end is gonna get a little message in this inbox every time that the server decides it's time to bother that front end. That message is just gonna be our little prediction summary data that we decide we render on stream. So now how the hell do we tell the server that it needs to send out another newsletter? Every time their prediction changes in some way, whether that's setting up a new prediction or someone betting some points, we're just going to send a request over to this new endpoint on our server that's going to forward that info off to the event stream. Let's fucking go! God, I hate dealing with front ends. I am so glad that I am never, ever, ever going to have to touch that thing again.